In this lecture, we will continue with sketch modeling and we will know how to draw circles. So we can find the circle command in the sketching section. Go to the circle option, click on this arrow and you will find circle, three point circle, coordinate circle and three tangent circle. So we will know them one by one. First of all, we will know about some basics of circle. So in this diagram, we can see we have a circle. So this circle is represented on a 2D graph. One we have horizontal axis and the second we have is the vertical axis. So basically when we draw a circle, we need two parameters. The first thing is center of the circle. So this dot is representing the center of circle and second value is the radius of the circle. So whenever we draw a circle, we need these two parameters. So in CATIA, when we draw a circle, first thing the software will ask us to select the center. Center will be the first thing that the software will ask. After the center, we need to define its radius or diameter. So this will be the second parameter. This is the radius. Okay, so the center of the circle can be represented by this parameter that is called H and V. So these are coordinate value, horizontal axis and vertical axis. And the distance from the center to the circumference is called the radius. And the distance from this end point up to this end point is called the diameter. And also from this diagram, we can find out that diameter is always double the value of radius. So we can define a circle by diameter or by radius. So now let's go to the software and draw some circles. So I click on the circle tool, go to the circle option and then click on circle. So the first thing it is asking us to select a point to define the center of the circle. So I click in somewhere, I pick this sketch tool option and drag it. Okay. And then I click in somewhere and this is the center of circle and after that we need to define the radius of the circle. So drag the mouse and now we can have the preview of the circle. So I click in somewhere, click here and now we can see we have a circle. Similarly, we can also draw a circle of some definite value. So once again, I go to circle tool and click on circle. We can define this center. So I am defining this horizontal axis. I am taking this value 0. Press enter and then press tab. The vertical axis is also 0. So the center of circle is at the origin. So I press enter. And when I drag the mouse, we can see we have a preview of the circle. And then we can also insert the value of its radius. So take the mouse into this radius value. Let's say I am inserting this value 5 and then press enter. And now we have a circle of radius 5. So we can pick this arrow of measurement. It is showing the radius 5. So when I make a double click on this value of this measurement, it is showing radius is 5 mm and the dimension is radius. So when I click on this arrow, we can also change this dimension to the diameter. So click on the diameter and click OK. I pick this dimension and drag it to have a better location. And now it is representing the diameter that is double of 5. So it is 10. So in this way, we can draw the basic circles. After that, another type of circle we have is the three point circle. For this circle, we need three reference point. So I click on this pen and drag it. And then I go to line tool and then make a double click on this line tool. Select the first point, second point, And then once again, first point and then we make a triangle. After that, I go to circle option and select three point circle. So for this type of circle, we need three reference point. So this end point will be the first point. And then this second end point will be the second point. 
and now we can see we have a circle so we need to define the third point so this end point is my third point of the circle click here and now we can have a circle that is passing through three reference points and the next type of circle we have is the tritangent circle this type of circle is tangent to three references so i select this tritangent circle and then we need to select three references so let's say i want a circle that is tangent to all these three lines so i select this first point and then select the second line and then select this third line and now we can see this circle is touching all these three lines so touching means it is tangent after that the last type of circle we have is the circle using the coordinates so coordinate means we can define the center using the coordinates so i click on this fit in view and then go to coordinate so for this another window will open in this window we need to define whether we want cartesian or polar so right now i am taking this cartesian in this cartesian as we discussed we need to define two references horizontal axis and vertical axis so let's say i am selecting the horizontal axis that is 10 press tab the vertical axis also 10 so the center of circle will be 10 and 10 similarly the radius is 10 and click okay so now the circle is of radius 10 at the point 10 and 10 so i can zoom in on to this so to have a better view like this so in this way we can draw different types of circle in catia